Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. So the reason I mention that the household of the Prophet ﷺ was a test for the entire Ummah is two pronged. One is it's it's a narration, and that with Imam Ali Islam, the Muslims, the Mormon and Munafik will be tested, and that all of the 12 Imams, all of the 14 Masumin are Muhammad. So all of them have the same weightage as in terms of the test that Imam Ali al-Salam would be tested or would was a test by which the entire Ummah will be tested between Mormon and Munafiq. So specifically talking from the perspective of Say the Fatima Zara and the role of Imam Ali alayhi salam, and how that is a test for the entire Ummah and how they're still feeling that test today. That's that's a key component that I want to highlight. So one of the reasons, one of the questions that are is being asked by Muslims for over 12, 1400 years that Imam Ali alayhi salam is the Lion of Allah. He is the bravest person alive at that time. So how is it possible that Imam Ali salam was, he kept quiet? And how is it possible that Imam Ali salam was, or he did not defend his wife? And are we calling, or the Shias calling Imam Ali salam a coward? So that's a very interesting point that is being raised. So let me dive, dig, dive, and take people into, give them a lesson of history so that people understand what Imam Ali al-Islam has done in the past. And this goes back to the concept of A and B testing. So on one hand, Allah has shown the strength of Imam Ali al-Islam and his bravery through his actions on multiple occasions. So people don't have to like say that, oh, we haven't seen the actions or like these are new for us. Allah has already shown the actions on different occasions. The question now is a responsibility. Is there any responsibility on the Muslims as they have learned from the actions, as they've been trained, how have they performed physically when the time came? So for example, they're the test or the, let, let's say, from an A-B testing perspective, A is the individual valor, vigor, strength of Imam Ali al -Islam. That has to be proven, right? So one, what is, as an individual, how would you see the strength of Imam Ali al -Islam? You would see that strength as on a one-on-one -on -one combat. You can see that strength as a com in the battle setting, when you do not have a lot of people and you're fighting against a big enemy, you can see that concept as part of when you're sick and you're fighting. You can see that concept as you're when you're defending uh, the something that has to be defended by the order of Allah alone. So on a one-on-one -on -one concept, Imam Ali al-Salam defended or, or beat Umar ibn Abdawad in the Battle of Azab. Marhab, Haris, Anthar in the Battle of Khaybar. In the second case, in the uh, three cases before Marhab, Haris, Anthar in Marhab, he was even sick and then he fought uh, by the permission and by the medication of the Prophet. So these two, he proved himself. Then the third, battling with an army, he proved himself in Hunan when the Muslims left where in Badr, when Muslims had nothing, he was uh, leading the Muslims. And in Ahad, when the Muslims were winning in the beginning, he was the reason of them, begin, uh, of them winning. And then after Muslims started leaving, he was the reason who defended the Prophet, the sign of Allah. So he defended the light of Allah. In that regard, there was another example that people do not talk about. And that is very important. That is when the Prophet had migrated from Mecca to Medina. He had entrusted all the uh, belongings that he had as he was custodian of to Imam Ali al But as part of that 
as part of that responsibility and the belonging and the amanat was Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. Sayyidah Fatima Zahra was a gift of Allah, he, which was given to the Prophet on, at Miraj. And there was a responsibility for that gift to be sustained, to be protected, because she was going to be the lady who will give birth to the Imams, who will start the generation of the Prophet. So that's why it was very important for her to be protected. Now, Rasulullah entrusted Imam Ali al-Islam to bring the ladies of his household, of the household of the Prophet, including Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. Imam Ali al-Islam brought the ladies from the main road at a time when the, the, the enemies were looking for anything that they can get a hold of, of the Prophet so that they can continue to go after the Prophet or make the Prophet come back from where he had gone because they wanted to kill the Prophet. At that point, Imam Ali al-Islam took the ladies, including Sayyidah Fatima Zahra, from the main road. He was stopped by the enemies of Allah, by the enemies of the Prophet from the Kuffar of Makkah along the way. And he said, if you can take them away, take them away from me. He fought them alone, defending the light of Allah. And he was able to defeat them alone. And these were bigger, better, amazing warriors who he defeated alone as a person who had never fought a war officially for Islam, who was young, who had never, who was uh, probably less like around 15 years. 16 years at the time, 20 years at the time. That was the time when Imam Ali salam defended the household, the Hazrat Fatima Zahra alone, without any help, in front of the kafirs, in front of the enemies of Allah. So if he can do that at that time, then Imam Ali salam can absolutely defend the household of the Prophet after that, and that is the point that I want to mention in my next message.